What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. I know that I look crazy, and it's so embarrassing to come crying on the internet. But, but here but we are. Let's jump right in and break it <laughs> all down. Lord. I believe we're at a pivotal moment in Gen Z dating right now. I write a newsletter about youth consumer trends where I track all of these things. And this story was published in The Cut yesterday. They talk about how dating is a total nightmare, obviously, for many people right now. But they get into the fact that singles have always complained about how hard it is to meet other singles. Women in particular have reached a breaking point. I did a story at the beginning of the year where I talked to like 10. Women have reached a breaking point. What about the men? What about what we have to deal with? Where's that newsletter? Zers about why the apps were so bad. This tells a larger story. It's not just the apps. This TikToker stood up on a date it's about how frustrated she is with dating apps and trying to meet someone. Humiliated, she records this TikTok and it goes wildly viral. The sentiment shared by a lot of these women is that they have full lives. This person who's quoted here is a pastry chef. She says, 90% of the things I do, I do alone. People want a partner, but they cannot find them. This woman says that she has not been able to find men in person as men look for younger women. She's gonna go up to a skintily clad 21 year old who's having the time of her life and not a grumpy 31 year old. Thanks. This girl says that men are more interested in getting shit faced in New York City and she attributes this to like a post pandemic thing where COVID derailed their prime sexual years therefore they just don't want to settle down. Another Blame woman it here COVID. said- You gotta love it. Anything but take accountability ladies. Blame it on COVID. Blame it on the economy. Blame it on anything but taking it like, blame it on anything but what you see in the mirror. You know what I mean? Is that she thinks that if Unreal. men have become more politically conservative, that this online network of men's rights activists are turning guys I don't think men have become more politically conservative. I just think men in general, we don't want women that are just ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. We've always wanted low body counts. You guys just now are like, oh, this is what you guys want. Yeah, we don't like 304s. It's women. So there's this confluence of apps are bad, but also men aren't interested in, uh, you know, settling down and also men are more conservative. What makes the story more interesting is that this I'm looking for a man in finance video has been going mega viral. Obviously it's super catchy, but it's more than that. I actually talked to CNBC for this story that Lewis is me, but I there's this feeling right now with the trad wife and the stay at home girlfriend where we are feeling so, women are feeling so burdened. We feel like we're never gonna be able to own real estate. We're gonna be working forever. Our jobs feel like they're going nowhere often and we're exhausted and there's something about a finance guy where it feels like an unlock. How does girl on couch <laughs> ladder up to this? Uh, part of the reason that this sentiment resonated so much, I'm not going to recite it because it's such an earworm that it'll get stuck in your head, but we all know it. What Indicative it? Six by finance, trust fund, ba-ba-da, samana, samana. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is somebody did the math on that, the blue eyes, finance, trust fund, six, five, like somebody did the math. There's like, there's like two men in the United States. Like, good luck, honey bigger here as I write in my letter. Men in finance are known to be appealing in only a begrudging way. They have the reputation for lacking a personality, lacking time, lacking emotional intelligence, but they make up for it in money. And to Gen Z women specifically who are facing financial challenges like student loans, inflation, and frankly FOMO, I mean those tickets to the Eras tour in Europe cost a lot. Money has become more attractive than ever but it's not just about being rich or greed. It's about unlocking things that women want and feel like they will never be able to have. To bring it back. To be I've, I've always, once, dude, a couple years ago, I started thinking about money in a completely different way that helped me is I, I try to begin with the end in mind. It's like, what's the end goal of what I want to do? So envision that for yourself and then stop calling it money and start calling it freedom units because the more money you have, the more freedom you can have. So think about money as freedom units, not as, you know, I just got to go out there and earn money. It's like, how much freedom can you actually have with the money that you earn? Very interesting to see where we are in five years with gen, single Gen Zers because the oldest Gen Zers right now are like 27. The youngest are 14. How many people get married in a generation? How many people have kids? Like those are much larger, have larger economic implications. So while these are amusing trend stories and Megan Bonnie thing is funny and a TikTok earworm, also a much larger economic story. And that's why I think TikTok trends are so interesting.
It's time for women to reevaluate their. I mean, she's got some points. It's really good. I'm I'm glad that she's actually done the research and kind of like laid it down. Like I do feel bad for the next generation, mainly because the dynamics have changed between men and women, and the dating landscape is the water's been so muddied. Like what happened to the good old day? What happened to the good old days? When you can just approach a woman, cold approach her. Hey, honey, I like your boots. Hey, honey, I like your T-shirt. What happened to that, man? It's gone. You do that now, they're like, ah, get away from me. You're a creep. It's like, goodness great. Like, you, you go up to a girl and give her a compliment, and it's like, oh, my gosh. Like, you're going to get hit these days. It's bad. And so I feel bad for the younger generation because these, these younger girls, they want guys with a ton of money. Where, dude, when I was younger, girls didn't care about money. They cared about your personality. They cared about the way you made them feel when you were around them, how funny you are, how attractive you are. That's what they cared about. They didn't care about money, but girls these days are like, he got to make 600K to deal with me. Like 600K? Jesus, honey, that's a lot of money. It's like the top 1% of men, probably even the top 1% of the 1%. It's crazy to me. Oh, let me know in the comments. I know we got a bunch more viewers, a bunch more subscribers. Let me know where you guys are from. Let me know in the comments right now. Drop a comment. Where are you from? I always like to see kind of how far we're spreading out the gospel here. So let's get back into it. It was just very possessive. Yes, yeah. he had traditional views, but it was very more like, no, you are mine. Like, Oof. gross. <laughs> he didn't like that I liked to party. Just a lot of the comments. <sighs> she's a runner. She's a track star. There's a reason. We don't want you to go party. Like, like these women in the same breath will say, I want a guy to provide and protect. Well, us, part of protecting you is telling you to not go to the club. Stupid. Like, come on. We don't want you to go out and be in an environment where other men can hit on you, where other men can put their hands on you, especially if you're going out with your other 304 friends. Like, what did you expect? You want to protect her? God. So dumb. That he made were very misogynistic and very, mm -hmm. like, not So protecting women is now misogyny. And these women are wondering, why are men going their own way? Why aren't men approaching me? This is why. Okay. I'm just like, oh, I don't want anybody else to see your body. Just the way that it was said, I feel like is... So he didn't want you going out partying. He wanted you to dress modestly. Were there any other things that you considered misogynistic? Well, he for sure thinks that men are better than women. He didn't want her to have a career. He was very fast with like talking about the future. And he was like, would you want to still work if you had children? This guy's my hero. Yeah, like, I was going to say, this guy's like what every woman typically wants, but these younger 304s just can't see it thing that he's saying sounds <laughs> awesome. I yeah. don't actually understand what the problem is. Like, he sounds great. Yeah, I think I just want to be able to go to the club, get around. She's a runner, she's a track star. And I just want other guys to see me and be like, oh, shit. that's what I want. They want the attention. They want his attention. They want his cake, but they also want to eat all the other cake. Mm. It's clear that many women have been conditioned to criminalize virtuous desires in men. Which yeah, like these men are coming up out of here and saying, hey, I want to provide, I want to protect, I want to take care of you, I'd rather you stay home, and they think that's misogynistic? They think that's misogyny? What? It's so dumb to me, dude. It's, it's seriously so dumb. Like, I can't, I can't even believe it. Goodness gracious, what is going on? You're killing me here, YouTube. Good Lord. Would you want to still work if you had children? This guy's my hero. Like, I mean... Without any course them to their lives. Let's get back into this. Good Lord, relationships me elsewhere. I really don't know when there was this shift in dating. Like in my mind, in my mind, men chase women. Men chase women. Women get courted. Okay, that's the end of the story. You've not got to be worth the courting, my love. If you are not worth courting, you shall not be courted. Nothing drives me more f insane than seeing these bum dudes ghost these stunning girls. This is absolutely insane. It's insane. This should not be happening, especially at the rate that this is happening. Mm. I hate the word playing games, but it's about time that these gorgeous women take that little deck of cards back into their own hands. I think a big problem for this is coming on too strong too soon and worshiping these men for giving absolutely nothing. Also clinging to them and being so easily accessible. Stop saying yes to their plans if they're asking- Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you single? I love it when a lo lonely single women give other women advice. You, you gotta love this stuff. Like, where's your man at? To come over at 11 p.m. on a random Wednesday, 
They should be asking you on a date to go out on Thursday night and they should have asked you that on Monday. I have tried to explain this in like a really like calm, pleasant way before, but it does not seem to be getting through. Don't even advice. give these men the opportunity to ghost you because you should be dating multiple people, especially in the beginning when you're seeing somebody. There's no reason for you to be committed to them unless you're an exclusive girlfriend boyfriend relationship. Now, I'm not I'm not saying that you need to sleep with multiple people. I'm not suggesting that. You can do what you want. I would She's giving you the formula to how to be a that's what she's doing. She's giving you the, the blueprint of how to be a single mom. Ladies, if you want to learn how to be a single mom, listen to women like this, bro. <laughs> Literally never judge you in a million years. But you are available men. to date multiple people unless you're in a relationship. So stop asking, acting like these crusty guys you owe the world to need to drop everything. Every time they want to see you, deserve your time. Because the fact is, when they realize that you're so accessible 24-7, drop you like a fly. I promise you. Human nature, sadly, unfortunately, enjoys a little bit of a chase. And that's probably why you like these guys that are ghosting you because you're making up in your head all these amazing qualities that they have that you've never even seen Stupid. just because you don't know them enough. So please stop giving these crusty men the time of day. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your friends, enjoy dating multiple people. Don't cling on to guys too fast and just be smart about this. You need to drop a guy. You need to just drop him if he's doing these things. Okay, trust me. If he's only texting you late at night to see you. Mm -hmm, not Must be a lot on her mind with that big ass forehead. Come on, honey. Stop it. The horrible advice. You want to call us crusty? Come on now. I'm asking you on real dates. Yep. And if he hasn't spoken to you in two weeks, no text, no call. No. If he's on his phone a lot when you're together, also no. Uh, I could literally tell you a thousand more, but the thing that oh, I no, really you want you to take away from this video is that you're valuable and you do not need to be desperately clinging to these men that don't deserve you. Thanks. We've all heard this is about like the worst advice. That has to be satire. That's the absolute worst advice I've ever seen a girl give other women. <laughs> Here's what you need to do, ladies. You need to be clinging to these men like a Klingon. Straight up. You need to be a cling on to these men because the thing is, there's a, there's a lot of you women and there's not a lot of the men that you actually want. What's harder? What's tougher? Becoming a man of value or being a woman of value? Women are born with their value. Men, we have to go out there and earn it and conquer the world. Like, come on, get out of here. Get out of here with that stupidness. Earn dating. If my boyfriend asks me to marry him, I'm going to say no. Why am I going to say no? Because we started dating five years ago. And then a month after we started dating, his friend started dating his girlfriend. And they had a kid what? after two years of being together. We had our daughter after four years of being together. His friend pays all the bills in their home. This is why I say comparison is the thief of joy. She's sitting there saying, well, his friend does this and Jason does this and Mark is just not good enough. And, you know, and if, if he was a better man, he would he would really step up and be a good dad. Stop. You know, you know whose life you need to worry about? The one that you see in the mirror. Worry about your own self. Stop worrying about all these other people. This woman is out here comparing her life to another man that she really probably don't even know intimately. This dude is not your brother. He's not your daddy. Those expectations were set. If your daddy was broke, your man should be broke. I don't, I don't care. Like, unless she was raised that way, stop comparing yourself to these other men. We pay 50-50. Because um, you're a 50-50 kind of girl. I mean, look at the man. Nobody's writing home. Nobody's getting postcards or writing home. Mommy, this this girl is so hot. No, you're a 50 50 kind of girl. His friend got engaged last year. And um, we haven't gotten engaged. Wrong hand, His anyways. His friend got married this past weekend. And the crazy thing is that when we started talking, he said, if we last a year, I'd like to get married and try for a baby. So a year came by, nothing. Then well, he said, and the thing is with these ladies, dude, they don't demand it. If a man is going to say it and you don't hold him up to that standard, dude, guys, we're just going to do whatever. Well, maybe after three years, let's look at it like a lease payment. You get three years. Lease. <laughs> three years came by. Putting a lease on these nothing. girls. <laughs> they said maybe five. Five is a big deal. Bet. Five came. 
nothing so I got tired of dropping hints got tired of sending ring photos and I was just hoping that it would happen Aww. so he goes to his friend's wedding this weekend and I'm hoping that it would be a motivator but to be honest at this point I don't even care like there you go. I really don't care there you go. Like the magic of the idea of how he would propose and and all of that. Stop watching Disney movies, honey. The magic. What is? You're a grown woman with a child. Another human has been popped out of your body, and you're talking about magic? Stupid. It's like, if you had that much doubt about marrying me, now I have these doubts. Like, why? What do you need? What's not enough? Shoot, I'm, I know I'm enough. You're not about to make me feel insecure. So he says, well, I made you the mother of my first and only child. And that should be good enough because that's a big deal. That's forever. And yeah, it's a big deal. That's forever. But like, damn, I'm good enough to be a baby mama, but I'm not good enough to be a wife. Exactly. You're baby mama material. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wifey material. There's a certain, it's a certain textile that they put out there in Egyptian satin. Clearly, you haven't made the grade, honey. So you're just baby mama material, not wifey material. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, if he proposes, I'm going to say no. Why? Because if it took him so long and he had so many doubts, he thinks it's all under his control, his power, like... When I feel like it, that's when I'm going to propose and she's just going to say yes. And she puts this now, on the internet. I have some say too. I have some say too. And I can say no. Just because you propose this doesn't mean I'm going to say yes. Stupid. Like, for me to say yes, he's going to have to pull off a really, really, really nice proposal. Like, something super romantic. Like, backstreet boys in the background. Flower petals. Pink. Big pink flower back, petals. Big back. Maybe a violinist. I got one. On the beach. Or in front of the castle at Magic Kingdom. With fireworks <laughs> in the back. <laughs> These are grown women talking about Magic Kingdom at Disneyland. <laughs> God. Something. 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 To make it feel like it was worth waiting. Damn near six years. Because we're about to be together for six years come this July. So come July. And there's no proposal. Oh honey, he already came. <laughs> Here's the thing, dude. This is why you need to have more communication in your relationships. And this doesn't just doesn't boil down to your female relationships. Or your significant other. Or your spouse. You need to have open communication with everybody. If they would have talked about this more and been a little bit more transparent with each other, I bet they could have solved this issue. But this girl is out here in freaking La La Land thinking he's going to propose to her at the Magic Kingdom at Disneyland. Honey, you pumped out a whole person. Now you have a duty to be a mother. You're a baby mama at best now. You're baby mama material, not wifey material. If he said he was going to marry you one year in, why didn't he marry you? Why didn't you hold him to that standard? He said it. Hold him to it. You clearly just let him slide, let him do his own thing, and instead of talking to this man like an adult, you decided to get on TikTok, press record, and complain to a bunch of simps online. And this is why we need to end the simp epidemic, because I bet there's a bunch of women and a bunch of men in her comments going, you go, queen, you do your thing. Yeah, he, you know your value. He should have proposed. This is the problem. And then she'll get validated by all these comments online by men and by women, and think she's in the right. When in reality, you should really be talking to your man and going to couples therapy, doing something to build the bond with your man, getting on a level where you guys are transparent with each other and communicating what you feel. Simple as that. That's, that's the solution. Not pressing record and putting up a 90-second video on TikTok. Or like that one girl the other day was talking about, like, maybe if I get a 1,000 followers, I can, I can start doing a TikTok shop, and maybe I can, you know, pay for a lawyer to get custody of my son. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, dude. Modern women are in shambles right now. It's hilarious to me. <laughs> Shout out to all the traditional women that watch, though. I know y'all are out there. We know y'all are out there, ladies. It's just tough to find. We know you're just not the ones on TikTok, and we appreciate y'all.
Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Rumble. Go cop the ebook. I love you guys, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.